princesses shouldn't walk so hard, insisted Mary with them. Let's use our magic to make a scrumptious meal, said Fauna. Aurora was making a meal for King Hubbard, who was coming to dinner for the very first time. You are dears, said Aurora sweetly, but I want to show the king that I can make delicious dishes all by myself. No magic, said Mary Wither. No magic, said Aurora. Aurora was so busy, she had accidentally burned her cheese souffle. Oh dear, said Aurora. I hope I can make a new one in time. Aurora's dinner will be ruined unless we hold, said Fauna. But she said no magic. I know, said Flora. We will give her our ancient magic charm. If Aurora carried the lucky charm, nothing could go wrong. But she could still cook herself. Mary Wither was sent out to the first cottage to find the charm. I'm big quick, ordered the flora. Mary Wither couldn't find the lucky charm anywhere. She couldn't return empty handed. So she grabbed the lid of the tea kettle and flew off to the palace. At the palace, Flora and Fauna were waiting for Mary Wither. Do you have the charm? asked Fauna. Mm, yes, of course, muttered Mary with a nervously. The king's horses were trotting towards the palace stables, but Aurora wasn't ready yet. The fairies assured her that nothing could go wrong at her dinner if she held on to the lucky charm. Finally, Aurora finished all the food and hurried to her room to change into her favorite gown. I sure need this charm tonight, said Aurora to herself. At dinner, Aurora felt relaxed and happy knowing she had the lucky charm in her pocket. And sure enough, the king loved the food she made. Thank goodness, Aurora had the lucky charm tonight, said Fauna. Her dinner would have been a disaster without it, replied Flora. After dinner, Aurora thanked the fairies as she returned the lucky charm. I really needed this charm tonight, sighed Aurora. But I wish I could have done the dinner all on my own. But this is not our ancient lucky charm, said Flora. Why it looks like the top to our tea kettle at the cottage, Meriwether, scolded Fauna. You didn't find the lucky charm at all, did you? You mean I really did do the whole dinner on my own, said Aurora. You certainly did, said Flora. This is just a silly old teapot lid. How wonderful, said Aurora as she spun Mary with it around the room. Thanks for watching, Nada Ibrahim, 